the things rolling and it sounds Hello ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Real Russia, the camera in arms of Sergei Pichugin. Hi. My name is Sergei Baklikov. I hold this mic. We are still in Moscow. There are just four hours before our plane in Domodedovo airport, but we came here to the Moscow State University on University Street. And here we have found the meeting of American Cars Club and owners of American Cars all together here and showing off their cars. Let's let's look at this. The first orange car we can see this is Riviera. Let's look at it and look inside of it. Next car I'm going to show you, this is uh, Cadillac Bonneville 1968 year released. And this uh, Pontiac Firebird. Absolutely great Chevrolet Camaro. And this car is Mercury Cougar XR7. And owner of this car is definitely a love in American car culture. He even have an American flag here. Absolutely great old-fashioned American cars. It's Buick 8 and it's parked right on the University Street near the Moscow State University. It looks even better on this background. And also Ford Mustang right here now let's look at old-fashioned Ford Transit Looks amazing and, uh, in my understanding, very American. So, and now we decided to talk with one of the lucky owners of Kamara SS. This is Alex. Привет, Alex. Пожалуйста, расскажи. Um, yeah, so the car is basically the Camaro uh, 2SS with uh, 6.2 liters uh, V8 and uh, it has uh, automatic transmission uh, and 405 uh, horse, uh, brake horsepower. Uh, and um, so for me it's a kind of legend. Uh, it's not as legend as the original one, uh, but still uh, I like this car so much because uh, when, when uh, engineers from Chevrolet were creating this car, they, they made something that looks a, and at the same time as old car and, and the modern car as well. So this is what I like about it. it, it uh, I'm sure it will, will be a future classic in like maybe 20 or 30 years. You know, uh, after the movie Transformers, uh, here in Russia, I know that uh, mostly popular yellow Camara SS. Yeah, yeah. Why you decided to uh, choose this color? Uh, that's um, actually yeah. Originally, when I started thinking about uh, buying a Camaro, uh, 
the first thought was, yeah, it should be Bumblebee. <laughs> but then I thought that it's just way too simple. Like, everyone thinks uh, that it should be Bumblebee with yellow with the black stripes. So I thought that it should be something more original. Uh, so we went for, for the orange color. And uh, I would say that it looks much much brighter, uh, better than, than the yellow one. And it, it also makes you different around all uh, people who own uh, yellow yellow Camaros. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I saw a couple of them. And uh, when, when you see a Camaro on the Moscow streets, it's usually a yellow one. So I feel like, yeah, but I'm not that <laughs> you know, predictable. <laughs> uh, you know, in Ufa, where from we are, uh, there are about two Camaro SS, uh, yellow, uh, yellow color. Uh, and how many uh, uh, cars in Moscow Camaro SS? Uh, frankly, I, I don't know. Uh, but I, I would say that probably a hundred, maybe a couple of hundreds. Uh, but I would say that probably half of them are yellow. Okay. Yeah. So uh, maybe a little about the price. Uh, what's the price for this car in Russia? Uh, yeah, I think the American viewers would be shocked to find out that this car is actually twice more, ex twice as more expensive than the Camaro, similar Camaro in the U.S. So when I go to Chevrolet.com and I configure the similar car, it's around thirty-seven thousand dollars. Here in Russia, unfortunately, it costs about eighty thousand dollars. It kills me the, to think that it just it's twice the price. Uh, but you have to pay for for having the Camaro Legend here in Moscow. Now let's look inside of this. Sorry, it's a little bit dusty. It's a little bit dusty here, but it's Moscow. You have a lot of dust here, unfortunately. But uh, you can see the V8, uh, that's what makes this car a muscle car. Uh, you can buy a version with uh, 3.6 uh, liter uh, V6 here in Moscow, but to have a real muscle car, you have to go for V8. It's, it's more expensive, but it's worth it. Uh, I think I'm, yeah, I'm done. Got it. Looks, looks powerful. And, and I would say that it looks like it looks like real engine bay because in modern cars like BMW or other cars, when you open the bonnet, you see just a plastic cover and basically you don't see any engine at all. But when you open here, you can actually see the engine, and when it starts, you can you can see all the things rolling and it sounds like real engine. So that's that would make this car so special. And now finally, let's just take a ride on it. that it starts uh, from 0 to 60 miles in 4 point something seconds it just makes it worse like everything uh, in this car because when you sit inside you can see like the plastic is cheap and the audio is is okayish uh, but when you feel the performance of the car uh, this is where like everything is forgiven and you just enjoy the ride Ready, steady, go! You know, that was real awesome. It was for the first time I riding on the car like this on Camara and uh, it was for the first time when my body was pushed into the back <laughs> of the chair, you know? It's an awesome, an awesome feeling. The thing with this car is that uh, it, 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 its uh, price slash performance uh, ratio is like really, really good. You can't buy something like this with real wheel drive and have the performance figures like this. So this is why this car is so awesome. You, you can slide it back uh, because uh, it's a real wheel drive and uh, at the same time you can cruise the street like it's a normal car and when you want it you just push it and you like and gone and that's really really cool
all, all the 405 uh, horses like pushing the car forward. Can feel you feel the power? <laughs> oh yeah, I can feel the power. Ну как бы в целом да, машина хорошая, пырка. Но мне все-таки больше нравятся мустанги. Мустанг как бы, вот это мужская тема. А Камара это просто красота. Ну может что я и говорил, мустанг самая настоящая мужская машина, мощь, грация, красота, скорость. Finally, around all of these old-fashioned American cars, let me to show you the Soviet Union legend. That's Volga Gas 24. Amazing Soviet Union car. This is really the legend. It's the real rarity in our days. I'm sure that one day we will film the special episode devoted, dedicated to this car, where we will tell about this in detail. You know, it's really nice to be here today. We've met a lot of interesting people and uh, have seen a lot of great cars. But it's time for us already to go out from here, from Moscow. In two hours from now, in airports of Domodedovo, there will be our plane. Hope you enjoyed this second Moscow series. Sergei Pichugin, Sergei Baklikov, and also Maxim Chutkasov, which is there, uh, was helping us all the time while we have been here. And uh, here is Katya, who you already know now, uh, waiting for us, and she will drive us to an airport. Uh, hope you loved, hope you enjoyed. Comment, like, subscribe. Real Russia, deepest insight into the real Russian life with a no fake and no bullshit.